So non-motor symptoms in the off period are very important indeed and they can mainly occur in three forms. Uh, one group we call cognitive or neuropsychiatric so that's dominated by symptoms such as depression, anxiety, apathy. Another group is autonomic, so people have flushing of the face, they have excessive sweating, some people might feel dizzy. And the third one is sensory, and this is dominated by pain of various types, and some people have very unpleasant tingling sensations in their, um, in their hands and legs, and sometimes in the face as well. And so these are the three main types of the different non-motor symptoms that occur largely during the off period in people with Parkinson's treated with levodopa. They may not occur with this, the non-motor symptoms of, that fluctuate uh, may not occur with the same severity as they occur in the off state, but some non-motor symptoms do occur in the on state and some may only occur during the on state. Uh, examples would be symptoms sometimes such as euphoria, which is a more a feeling of uh, extreme well-being to some extent. Some people feel they're, that they are very they're mentally overactive and some people can even get hallucinations and pain can, funnily enough, occur during the on period as well. But they also occur during off, so therein lies a little problem of distinction. But some, such as euphoria, mainly occur during the on period and the mental restlessness. The, the non-motor symptoms that accompany the non-motor fluctuations are pretty consistent in terms of they often occur when a person has a fluctuation. So in fact, any fluctuation is re in response usually is associated with motor and non-motor symptoms. But some tend to vary more than the other. And they're pretty consistent. And we found, for instance, in a study that these symptoms can occur in relation to fluctuations even in very early people uh, with Parkinson's in the early stages like Hohnerniar stages 1 and 2. Non-motor fluctuations have a very adverse effect on quality of life particularly with symptoms such as dysphagia which is swallowing problems that can occur during the off period, pain, depression, anxiety, fatigue. They can all have a negative effect on quality of life. In fact one large international study showed that the fluctuators who have these cognitive autonomic problems and pain have worse quality of life than those who are not fluctuating. Um, a study performed in Italy called the DEEP study showed that um, neurologists and geriatricians and nurse specialists who deal with Parkinson's often do not recognize wearing off early. And this is really, really important that we do so because early recognition would mean personalizing treatment and would mean uh, appropriate treatment strategies being initiated. In other words, drugs that can prolong the effect of levodopa. So early treatment is really important given that these symptoms have such a great impact on quality of life. In terms of tool, the first and the foremost tool is flagging up of these symptoms. That can be done through non-motor questionnaire, which is a well-validated uh, self complete a tool that patients can complete while they're waiting to be seen. And then as they're seen, one can use the wearing off questionnaire, which is available in various forms, which is well validated internationally. But in the modern era, we can also use wearable sensors. Some of these wearable sensors, which are like watches, um, can actually uh, show movement and can actually identify wearing offs very accurately. And finally, one can also use a diary.